before I sent this in, um, she wants to pray um, for human trafficking and specifically um, in Cleveland, you all have heard the story that's been in the news about the three women who were um, held captive, kidnapped and held captive and abused hor horribly um, for many years. But what Cora brought to my attention is the fact that there is actually an epidemic apparently in Cleveland of uh, missing women. It's way off the charts in comparison to most cities. Um, the number of women who are missing and sometimes they're found dead, you know, whatever. Her uh, prayer is always that God will set those captives free. Anyone who is being held captive, that they would be set free. And that's a great prayer. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to bat for Cleveland tonight. Because we're, we're fighting against the powers and principalities tonight. So we're going to go against those evil powers and principalities that are at work in Cleveland. We're going to go against those evil spirits and we're going to win. Because right now, there are lots of missing women in Cleveland. And... Those missing women who are still alive, we want them returned home. Got it? So let's pray. And we want this done in a big way. We want to get to the root of it. We want to make a dent in hell. So we're going to pray for that. And then we'll go on. Cora has a couple of other prayer requests um, that are related to that. But I wanted to tell you about the power that we have. Um, we fight against the powers and principalities and, and the rulers um, of this dark realm. Okay? We're coming against those evil spirits. When they go down, everybody that they are controlling, they lose their power. They lose their power over people. And those captives are going to be set free. So let's pray for these women right now. The women that are missing in Cleveland right now. Let's pray for them. Father in heaven, we would like to ask you to send out your troops um, on behalf of those who are in bondage today, who have been taken captive or, or who have been taken from Cleveland, Ohio, specifically the missing women, but anyone missing uh, women or children or any anybody um, that's been taken captive, Lord God, there's an epidemic here. And so we see an evil spiritual force at work um, that is against those who are weak. And it is your anointing uh, to set the captives free and to proclaim freedom for those pr prisoners and recovery of sight for the blind. So Lord God, right now I speak against the evil spirits, the powers and principalities and dark rulers um, that are over Cleveland, Ohio, I speak against you in the name of Jesus. And I command you to set those women free. Every woman right now that is alive and in captivity, that has been taken into captivity, that has been kept in Cleveland, Ohio, or who has been taken from Cleveland, Ohio, I command you evil spirits to set those women free. I am speaking an end to your power over them and the people that you're controlling. They have no more power to keep these women. And I command you to set them free right now in Jesus name. Your power is coming to an end. Lord God, I just pray that you would honor our prayer quickly, that there would be a massive recovery starting tonight of missing women. And I speak against blindness that comes from these evil spirits because evil spirits work in darkness. I speak against your darkness, you dark rulers, in Jesus' name. And I speak light to the city of Cleveland, Ohio. Send the light of your word, Lord God. Send the light of those that you have sent to shine light on the evil that is going on, to uncover what the cockroaches are doing in the darkness, what the evil spirits are getting away with, where no one is looking and where no one is caring. Arouse hearts of compassion and courageous hearts to kick down the doors, Lord God, and to uncover what Satan is doing. I pray that everywhere where deception is at work to cover people's eyes to what's going on, that you would break the power of that deception tonight in the name of Jesus, that you would uncover people's eyes and they would begin to see what's going on, Lord God, and that they would put an end to it, Lord God. Just like those women were held in that house for so many years and there were neighbors all around and, and the captor went to church and nobody could see what was going on, I pray that you would give a spiritual sight to the people in Cleveland, Ohio. Bring it through your word. Bring it through your spirit. Bring it through your servants. And right now, Lord God, on buses and cars walking into the city, I pray that you send servants angelic messengers, people clothed in skin, just like the people that are here praying for these women. Send your servants right now into that city, Lord God. Infiltrate it with light and turn the light on so that those evil spirits run. And you evil spirits, I speak the end of your reign in that city in Jesus' name. And I speak freedom for the captives in the name of Jesus Christ. 
Father, I praise you because we will hear of the women who are going to be set free, Lord God. I pray that you would do it in mass. I pray that you would send out a massive army. I pray that you would get at the root of this thing, Lord God, whatever has allowed this to, to be rooted in this particular city. I command that thing to be uprooted. And Lord God, I praise you because you are a mighty God. I praise you that you have given us the ability to make a difference in these women's lives, Lord God. And I also pray for the families of those who have been damaged because some of them have died, Lord God. Some of them have been killed. And there's a lot of damage that has been done by the enemy. And Lord God, you are the one who rescues, but you are also the one who heals. And that we don't understand why one person is saved and one person is lost, Lord God. In all and everything you have promised that for those whose hearts are committed to you, that you are going to work. That you are going to work everything together for good. That even out of tragedy, even out of the ashes of the loss of the women who have been killed, Lord God. That their, their blood, Lord God, would be a seed. And that there would be a harvest from it. That it would not be shed for no reason, Lord God. But that you would bring light to this and that you would bring healing to this city, Lord God. And that you you begin to bring reconciliation um, that where the, the spirit of the enmity for the woman is present that we can work together Lord God and how we can love one another and I pray that you begin to destroy uh, that division by by just flooding that city with your love Lord God so I pray that you would send sons of the kingdom that they would pour themselves out Lord God and that there would be a harvest there, a harvest of good things, a harvest of freedom for the captives, Lord God, a harvest of love for the weak and the poor and the oppressed, a harvest of people who are going to stand up in the power of your anointing, to stand up for the weak, Lord God, and to protect those who need to be protected, and to give them power, give them power over the enemy, so that they send the enemy 10,000 to flight, Lord God. I pray that they would send them to flight in Jesus' name, and I pray that you'd send them to flight tonight. And you you are, you are hearing the voice of the Lord tonight, you evil principalities and powers, and you are losing your hold on every one of those women hidden away in dark corners, in basements, in houses, wherever they're hidden away, you are losing your grip on them right now. They are getting away from you. They are being delivered, and there's nothing you can do to stop it. Say nothing you can do. Run away. That's all you can do tonight. Cleveland, Ohio, I speak the word of life to you in Jesus' name. And Lord God, I thank you so much that you are commanding your angel even as we speak. Thank you, Lord God. Thank you for hearing our prayer. We look forward to seeing the fruit of this prayer. We look forward to seeing how powerful you are in their lives, Lord God. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. All right. We're going to get some good work done, you guys. I want you to be watching because you're going to see God move. When we pray together, you will see it, okay? And your jaws are going to be dropping. But expect it, because God has not sent us here without power. He's given us power, and we're going to use it. We're going to use it the way that God wants us to use it. Set those captives free. 